Hey guys, it's X. Some of you guys grew up playing this, but me, I grew up playing this. <laughs> now, these two games, super awesome and totally different, but they have something very similar in them and it's what's inside. Both of them have a battery and when the battery goes out, you lose your save data, you lose your Pokemon, you lose your 100% completion, and some people even toss these things away and say they're broken when they're not. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace the battery inside of these cartridges. We're gonna do a little retro rescue. Let's go. Remember the, Remember the of the information society. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society. <laughs> All right. So before I get into this how to change battery thing for Game Boy games, I want to break down and explain some of the cartridges to you. So this is Road Rash. In Road Rash, notice how there are two EEPROMs, no battery. So this is a game that if you were gonna save, more than likely it has like save states or just passwords, no battery. Now, let's open Zelda DX. See the battery that's right there? So here's what I really want you to notice. This is Metroid 2, Samus Returns. Look at the battery on this one. Get this open. Battery right there. So, so far you're thinking, cool, we have batteries. Pokemon Red, open it up. Different battery. Still a battery, but different than Metroid and Zelda. So Metroid and Zelda have the same size battery. Now, here is how we actually find what type of battery we need. I'm gonna try and get this to focus for you real quick. But on the very top, can you see this right up here? Right at the very top, there's a set of numbers. Let me get it closer for you. Um, there's a set of numbers. Ah, this is just a pain in the butt. I, I just really want everyone to, to get this. There's a set of numbers that are up here that actually tell you the size of the battery. And so let me pick up Metroid and show you. Metroid right here, in the same spot, you can see those same numbers that tell you what battery you have. And the reason I'm going over this is because I went to Home Depot to buy my batteries and I bought the wrong size. So this will help you get the correct batteries you need before you have to go and do this. Um, and if you notice, once again, Zelda DX and Samus Returns both have the same battery. So it's a really nice thing. Do you have to order them online? No, like I said, I went to Home Depot. Uh, they have a battery section right there and I just bought the batteries for a Pokemon and a Metroid. All right, so you're gonna wanna use your screwdriver to pull up the first uh, battery prong that's right here. And you're gonna have to probably work on it for a while because they just stick to these batteries really good. And after that, you'll be able to just pull out the battery pretty easily. And after you pull this out, I would really say be careful because you can scratch the motherboard like I did. Try not to do that. You don't wanna damage the game. Um, we're not gonna solder the battery in because uh, I don't want to solder. I just want something really easy. Uh, new battery, uh, put it in the exact same way that you pulled the last one out. And we are going to take, uh, let me just pull this, pull this up, there we go. All right, we are going to take electrical tape and you are going to wrap the battery in there, meaning both contacts connected to the battery, like so. Alright, so now that the battery is in, you're just going to put this together and if you're having trouble putting it on, uh, just push it down a little more. Uh, do keep in mind that anytime you change the battery on a card like this, Pokemon, Zelda, Metroid, whatever game it is, you will lose all your data. So be careful. Alright, let's test this bad boy out. So. What I'm going to be testing it out on is my nice modded, and this is actually the very first Game Boy I ever modded. It's an original uh, OG Game Boy, the DMG, and it's a red one. 
Uh, turns on, backlit, easy, kind of easy mod. But let's look at this. So you have uh, start one, two, and three. We're gonna stay on start one. That's basically saying it's saving game one. We see the gorgeous, beautiful, sexy, <laughs> let me zoom in for you, uh, Samus right here. And for me to show you that it actually saves something, I gotta get to a save point. So while I'm playing this, I'm gonna kill some time. Uh, Metroid is probably my favorite series on the Nintendo uh, in general. I love collecting for Metroid. And when I'm talking about Metroid, oh, damn it, I took a hit. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> uh, when I'm talking about Metroid, I'm talking NES, Game Boy, and SNES. Uh, that's my personal favorite Metroid to actually collect for. Uh, I haven't played Prime, haven't played Echoes, because I didn't grow up with a GameCube. I grew up with a PS2. Uh, at the time, Master Race. No, no, <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, I love the game so much. Uh, the Metroidvania type series, I love. So it's fun to collect for. I even love collecting the Japanese versions. All right, so here we are. Right where we just passed, that's the actual save point. But I want to kind of stress a little bit more that the save actually works. So if, let's go here. So there I am, I'm in the lava. I'm purposely taking damage. You can see my energy, energy going down. Uh, as we go over energy or health, I say energy because it's got an E next to it. That's old school. <laughs> uh, let's go to the save point. So you get on top of it. And when you get on top of the save point, it's gonna say at the very bottom, you wanna save, press start. So that's all you gotta do to save the game. That's what the battery does, it saves the game. So I'm gonna press start, it's completed. I'm going to shut off the Game Boy. All right, it's off. Let's turn this back on. Okay, so if we did this uh, Game Boy battery replacement correct, when I load this, we should be at the same place. Hey, see, there you go. There you go. It's a very, very easy mod slash fix. And uh, it's just awesome. Don't ever think that these games are dead. Um, really, it's usually a battery change. Will you lose your memory? <sighs> yes, when the battery dies. But two things, if you love the game, you'll play it again. Also, I think a replacement for a battery that's gonna last like another 15 to 20 years, it's it's worth it. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this game. And now I have to go beat <laughs> Metroid 2 all over again. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Instagram more than anything. I'll see you guys next time.